I don't think that every time you create a cocktail, you need to be intellectual necessarily. In fact, the way that I make drinks a lot of time is like the way that I cook a pinch and a dab. So actually that's been a little bit hard sometimes to communicate my recipes is because sometimes right. I tweak as I, I tweak as I go, you know? And so my drinks usually taste often different when I make them than when somebody else does because I, I can adjust on the fly and I can I adjust to say the ice that I'm using or the, the age of the juice or that kind of thing, right? Right, 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 right. And the hands, you know, the hands are extremely important. It's it's wonderful to watch a, a dexterous bartender or, you know, I love working flair. And for the record, like when I started in, incorporating working flair, I got a lot of side eye <laughs> from my colleagues. I got a lot of questions, but I never stopped, you know, so again i think it's important but i don't think that that's the most important thing to me right so i think the heart i think that that's probably the heart is the most important like why are you doing this you know in the early days it was about the money for me and about the cool factor but then it got to the point where it wasn't about that any longer because honestly the work became really difficult and stressful you know when i started doing cocktails because oh my god memorizing all those drinks and all those specs and having to do it you know and you weren't making you weren't making 600 bucks a night anymore no way no but at right. least i got you know i didn't have to you know bartend in a bra so that was good <laughs> just <Right>. a bra <laughs> right. oh the old oh the old days so so yeah so uh, but i think that ideally you have it all or at least if, if it doesn't come naturally, if it's not innate, then you're aware and you try to implement all of those things into whatever you're doing, into your cocktail making and into your bartending.